All right, we have a 2012 Ford Escape. We'll be replacing a leaky valve cover gasket. And while we're at it, we'll be replacing the spark plugs. Now, to get this valve cover off, we have to take this windshield wiper shroud off. That'll give us plenty of room to get to the valve cover and pull it off. That's 15 millimeter. I'm going to take all these clips off. And just pull up on each of these corners. This comes off. Push. See underneath here. So I just pulled up underneath here. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fun? You just pull on this and it comes right off. 10 millimeter. Yep. <laughs> this air hose gets disconnected down on that hose clamp, 7 millimeter. Okay, now I gotta detach this. See, it's an o-ring of the fuel injector that's preventing it from coming out. See, it's getting a little loose. See the little o-rings? The valve cover goes like this, comes around like this.
Yeah. Okay. All right, that plate had to be removed so I could get access to these two bolts back over here. Okay, so everything's been detached, so I got access to all the mounting bolts for the cover. It's almost off. There. I'm going to be putting RTV in these corners here. You got to make sure this is good and clean. That could have been the source of the leak. Manufactured and put RTV in these the ends of these little humps. This gasket's really gotten hard. So once it loses its elasticity, then you'll start getting leaks. Okay, and this kit came with a tube of RTV. Now to preserve the RTV, I take a piece of cellophane plastic, cover the tip of the tube, and then cap it off. That'll prevent air from getting in and drying it out. So I use a quarter inch ratchet wrench attached to a 10 millimeter socket. It's not a big ratchet wrench so that just using the torque from your hand you won't have to worry about over torquing the 10 millimeter bolts. You don't have to torque more than around 7 foot pounds of torque. If you have a quarter inch torque wrench and it's not calibrated properly you could potentially shear the bolt off which is why I do everything by hand for the little nuts and bolts. You're torquing it down, you're putting wrist pressure, so right when it stops, that's about it. See, it's not moving right here. That's right, a decent amount of torque. I'm going to use silicone grease. They also call it dielectric grease. For these contact points over here, so the hoses go back on easier. See, this hose was real hard to take off, but look how easy it just slides right back on. I'm putting a little silicone grease on the o-ring right here in the opening. Yeah. So I got a 5.8 socket. Okay, just fit in there snug. <clears throat> I'm 
That oil leak is from the gasket we just replaced. The torque specs call for 133 inch pounds. Now you could use a torque wrench, but use a 3 8 inch drive and try to torque it as tight as you can with one hand. And that'll get you somewhere between 15 to 20 foot pounds, and that plug won't come out. That's good and snug. So we got to put these O-rings back on. These O-rings, they may have a hard time slipping into the fuel injection rail port. Put a real light coat of dielectric grease in here or silicone grease and they'll just slide right on. You may want to use a Q-tip to spread the silicone grease in there. just have to tuck the fuel injector connectors underneath this fuel line. Reinstall the rubber coverings. And then we pull this plug out. And then this slides on. There. Take this, put it over here. So I put some silicone grease in here. I'm gonna wiggle it on. Okay. And this connects over here. There's like a little slot that this goes into.
and we're done.